Now I'm using an external antenna. It comes in here and amplified in a first amplifier and a second amplifier and then through a bandpass filter to eliminate any noise on 144 MHz where I'm going to test the receivers. The receivers are an Air Spy HF Plus and an Air Spy with an R820T dongle, I think it was. Uh, they are fed from a three port splitter hybrid. Uh, one into this radio and the other into the other radio. And the third port goes up into the spectrum analyzer. And this is what I'm sending into the radios on the FM band. The strongest station is at minus 20 dBm, which might be a reasonable level to assume that people may have uh, when listening with some simple antennas on two meters, a ground plane antenna or something which doesn't have much selectivity. This is the HF Plus uh, and there is no gain control so I have to have it uh, by the default. Uh, I have turned down the FM stations and I'm turning them up now. Oops, this is no longer very good. This is a quite clear degradation. Uh, maybe something like 5 dB. The level on the FM band is now minus 36 dBm. It's not far from what I had from this blue wire. Uh, so uh, the AirSpy HF Plus is fairly sensitive to the FM band. Now I'm listening to the old AirSpy without the FM band and then I'm turning up the level. Oops. This is where it starts to become affected and that is with the full gain. But it's more signal now, it's minus 30, minus 29 dBm. I don't remember exactly what I had on the HF Plus, but uh, this unit has a gain control. I can turn down the gain, it's in linearity mode, and I turn the gain downwards. And I have to compensate on the audio side. Now I'm starting to lose sensitivity. So something like this would be optimum. And then I turn up the FM band signals. That's too much. Well. Here. I switch them off and on and maybe this is a 5 dB loss not quite uh, but the levels of the FM band now is minus 23 dB for the strongest station so it's clear from this study that the HF plus which is more sensitive and I think more frequency stable, but it requires a filter when you want to listen to the 2 meter band, if you have FM stations nearby. I'm still running the HF Plus at 144 MHz, but now I'm looking at it with the network analyzer, and this is the standing wave ratio, and I have the box sitting quite close. Uh, the power level now, uh, 
compressed power. You see it says minus 60 dBm. I don't know exactly what it is because there is a problem with this instrument. I can only step in steps of 10 dB and I don't know exactly what power that is. But if I go from minus 60 to let's say minus 40. Uh, you can see there is a significant change in the standing wave. Which means that something is going non-linear already at a level in the neighborhood of minus 40 dBm. And that is probably the reason uh, why it's so sensitive. You see the frequency where the change is large is 100 megahertz. So it is near the FM band. So I will check this uh, non-linearity on the input. Uh, so I used this directional coupler and I have replaced the normal 50 ohm dummy load with some adjustable impedance. And that is in order to have a, a very weak signal coming out. It works like a bridge and here you can see the uh, reflected signal uh, at 99 megahertz. The level is now minus 46 dBm and I increase in steps of 1 dB. And you can see this signal goes up in steps of 1 dB until suddenly something happens. And then when I go down something happens at another level. So it switches off at minus 39 and when I go up it switches on at minus 34. So that's a 5 dB hysteresis. It means that I think there is a front-end AGC that protects this uh, chip and for signals at about 100 megahertz uh, it turns down the gain because uh, there is a wideband detector somewhere that detects that there is too much signal. Uh, so this radio uh, it has a wide open front end, or rather wide open at least. The HF Plus has a lower noise figure than the old AirSpy. To compensate for that I have put 6 decibels of attenuation in front of the HF plus and then it turns out to be the same sensitivity. I have changed uh, the uh, averaging, removed all the averaging from the spectra and we look at the position where peaks seldomly go above. It's about here and you can see then that the signal is uh, 15 decibels above that level. And here is the HF plus. And I do something similar. And you see, well, maybe it's 16 dB, but it's very similar now. Uh, now, uh, and I have the arrangement, I can increase the level at 88 to 108 megahertz. And I click on this, turn on the attenuator. And not much has happened. So I go up 10 decibels. And then I go downwards. So, here I lost 5 dB on the HF plus, but there isn't any difference on the old AirSpy. I attenuate by 10 dB and I go back. Yes, there is a small difference, but the degradation is clearly much larger on the HF plus.
But interestingly enough, when I now turn up the level and I look here at the old air spy and I go up and that was just a single dB and one more dB and now the old air spy is not well it's not so happy anymore uh, I did see some noise increase also on the HF plus but another dB or one more uh, then the old air spy is no longer happy at all but there isn't much difference on the HF plus and I am going up further and you can still see the signal here I can increase the 2 meter by 10 dB and you see it very well on the HF plus but not at all on the old so I go up another 10 dB something like that and it doesn't look well but this looks very good so uh, if you got the impression that the old air spy is to prefer over the HF plus that was a false impression and I hope you stand corrected now but even so uh, with the HF plus if you uh, put a selective filter a preamplifier uh, if you want to use it on two meters it's going to be uh, a good advantage so I now remove the FM band signals again and you see uh, it was uh, it is a problem and that this at levels that are not extremely high I mean here we have a big problem on both systems and what I have here is minus 17 dBm well it's a lot of signal but uh, people may have this kind of problems uh, if you have FM transmitters not too far away but filters are fairly easy to make 